I'm going to show you how you can fix the hidden borders issue on Windows Server. So the issue is, when you've got multiple windows open, there are no windows borders, so each, since the application merges into each other, and it's quite difficult to see each individual window. Now this can be resolved quite easily by coming to the desktop, and then right clicking, and then pressing personalize, and then under colors, scroll down to the bottom, and then enable title bars and window borders. And this will enable the borders. So when you've got multiple windows open, they actually have a distinct border. So you can actually see where one window ends and the next window starts. Now you can either manually do this, which I've just done, or what you can do is deploy a registry key to change this permanently. So if we open up a registry editor, and then come to HKEY CURRENT USER, SOFTWARE, MICROSOFT, WINDOWS, DWM. There is an option for color prevalence. And then by default, this is set to zero. So I've just enabled the borders. So this has been set to one. But if I just change it back to zero, and then OK, and then refresh or close my settings window, and then come back to the personalized settings, we can see that that's now disabled. So the registry key we want to deploy is this prevalence and we want to set it to one. So I'm on my domain controller. And then if I open up the group policy management and then come to group policy objects, we can create a new GPO and we'll just call this Windows Server Personalization and then OK. And then within here, we'll want to right click and edit then under user configuration and then preferences and then windows settings and then registry we can right click and press new registry item then set this to update and then h key current user and then under key path select the three dots and then drill down to h key current user software microsoft and then windows and then dwm and then if you select DWM and then scroll down and then select color prevalence and then select, we can then change this to a decimal value and then set it as one and then apply and okay. So now we've created our registry key and set it to the correct value. We can close the editor. And then if we come to WMI filters and then right click and do new, we can give this a WMI filter of Windows service and then add a query and then for the query value we can put in the following which is select star from win32 underscore operating system where the product type is either two or three which two is domain controllers and three is member servers so this will select all of our servers and then okay and then save i will put this query in the blog post that is in the video description so you can just copy and paste it and then now we need to apply this WMI filter we've just created to our GPO by coming to the GPO and then under WMI filtering at the bottom, select none and then press Windows servers and then yes to apply. And then all we need to do now is drag our GPO over our domain. So that will filter down to all servers within the domain. So now that GPO is applied, we can close our group policy and then close any windows we've got open we can see that our color prevalence is zero and if we do a command prompt and then do gp update slash force once this is finished updating if we come back to our registry editor now that's finished updating if we come back to our registry editor and just press f5 we can see that that's now been updated to one through group policy. So that policy is now working. And then we can see that everything has borders. So when we've got overlapping windows, we can actually distinguish between each of the windows. So that is how to enable windows borders manually, as well as using group policy to deploy the registry key.